Couch, dog, me, palaisant. Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff and in this video we're going to discuss all about warm-up exercises. Warm-up exercises are usually very, very boring. So we're going to take the warm-up exercises, the boring ones, and turn them into a plethora, a rich tapestry of creative exercises that also help with technique and finger strength. But before we do, I just want to mention that this is the second in a series of lessons about warm-up and keeping your hands safe. So the previous one was very, very important. It's about uh, hand stretching exercises to do before playing and after playing to keep your hands safe from injuries such as carpal tunnel syndrome, tendinitis, and muscle cramps. So go watch that exercise video if you haven't yet. Now let's start uh, talking about warm-up exercises. You probably all know this exercise. <laughs> So forth, the one, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one exercise down and up the guitar. This is the basic exercise, and this is an excellent exercise, but it's very, very, very boring and tedious. So we're gonna take that and build upon it to create a plethora of rich exercises that even sound good. But first, you need to know the right technique to play this. This requires a specific trick uh, that most people um, unfortunately don't know about. To do this right and build speed as you go along, if that's your goal, um, it should be a secondary goal, by the way, but uh, some people use this to build up speed and they don't understand why it doesn't work. And the reason is that they're doing it wrong. If you want to build up speed, you should keep your hands as uh, close to the guitar as possible. And they do it like this. Okay, taking their fingers off of the guitar. You should keep your fingers on the guitar as long as possible. For example, this. One, two, three, four, right? Okay, when you play the four, okay, whenever, wherever you play it, okay, um, I play it on the fifth fret just to demonstrate. It shouldn't be, uh, you know, a rule. You, should, you can play it like this, okay? Uh, on the high frets, on the low frets, it really doesn't matter. And you should go all over the neck and we'll discuss that, but let's focus, okay, ADHD, I'm sorry. Um, you play one, two, three, four. And when you play the fourth note, you take your first finger down to the next string along with playing the fourth note, okay? Try to watch my fingers. One, two, three, and then I play this while taking my first finger down. Both fingers, the pinky and the first finger work together, okay? I put the pinky while taking the finger down a string. And then it's ready for the next note. And it's already there. It's already there. Okay, got it? Put it on and take the first finger down to be ready for the next note. And when you go up or down musically, the technique is this. Four, three, two, one and then you put all three fingers on the next string together, ready for their own respective notes. You don't just put the pinky on, like this. You put all three together, okay? And then they're ready to play. And this is the speed building exercise. And after you play the fourth note, you put the first finger and join them on the string. Okay? And it shouldn't be this movement. It should be this movement. Okay? As close to the neck as possible. Okay? Now, I'm not about speed at all. I don't care about speed. I care about harmony and um, music. Um, speed usually involves just running all over scales and that's boring in my opinion so I never actually put much effort into playing fast um, and that is good as a teacher because I can slow everything down instead of just telling you play like this okay so um, I'm gonna demonstrate slowly um, so this exercise is the basis for all warm-up exercises 
The way to turn this interesting is to start tinkering around with the order of the notes. That's the very, very first creative act. And then we're gonna take it all over the neck and start building actual licks out of it. The very first exercise is to reverse the order, to start playing four, three, two, one from the bass notes up and one, two, three, four from the high notes down, like this. <laughs> but this is still a bit boring. So the real creative act is actually choosing a sequence of notes and sticking to it until you get it. For example, one, two, four, three. Okay, or one, four, three, two. Let's start with that. Okay, one, four, three, two. sequence of notes. For example, one, three, two, four. And then maybe something like one, two, four, three. Okay, now remember, um, if this confuses you, play it slower. then just raise the speed a little. Okay, something like this. Um, for example, um, you can start from something other than the first uh, note. You can do three, two, four, one. The idea here is to confuse yourself as much as possible and then refocus, find your strength and actually do it and succeed. Um, this is very, very satisfying and actually helps with finger flexibility, finger strength and psychological flexibility for musical shapes on the neck. Okay, it prepares you for playing. And uh, after you're done exhausting the options, for example, uh, four, one, two, three. Okay, so I'm like... One, two, three on each string. Um, or two, three, four, one. Okay, and then back up. After you're finished with this, you start playing things with two strings. Okay, uh, two string set exercise like this. You play one, two on one string and three, four on the next. And then you start from that string and play one, two like this. Okay, one, two on one string, three, four on the next. Okay? And then... Sounds a bit, um, a bit diminished, if you will. Uh, okay, okay, go now. Okay, uh, yeah, you can go too. I told you these uh, exercises sound boring. They're bored. Um, so um, then, of course, you can create more sequences for two string sets. For example, four, three, one, two. Okay. And then, when you're tired of this, you start moving them around the neck. Um, let's start with the simple exercise, one, two, three, four. You start from uh, the first fret, and on the next string you start from the second one. And then just move it up one uh, fret at a time. One string down, one fret up. When you go back down or up physically, you can keep on going forward in frets or back down. Or... Okay. Now 
granted, going back um, down in strength is uh, a bit more difficult than going up. This is easier than... Okay? Um, so just take it slow. The next exercise would be the other way around. Something like this. Okay, starting from the first rank. And then... Okay, keep going up in frets, but start from 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, this is kind of a reverse of the reverse. And then... Start playing three notes per fret. And if you're playing with a pick, then this will reverse the order of picking. And uh, let's just start with this. Okay? It's down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? It reverses itself. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So practice that. Also practice fingers two, three, and four. Okay, no first finger. And then take this up the frets and also down. Now you can do this as well. Start from a high fret, okay, and then go down. Okay, but this is still a bit boring. So when you feel you're up for it, uh, start playing the strange sequences, like um, one, four, two, three. And then it starts sounding like very strange arpeggio. Now you can also take this and start doing something like this. Start with one, two, three on the sixth string, and then two, three, four on the fifth. And then go back to the sixth string and go one fret up. And then fifth string. Sixth, fifth. Okay? This also builds strength and flexibility. And then you can start playing with your own flexibility and um, play something like one, three, five. Okay, let's take this from five, seven, nine. Okay, flexibility and finger strength exercise. Um, and then, when you really dare, do it like this. Okay, this is kind of uh, an augmented scale. Not a full augmented scale, um, but let's stop discussing scales and just treat this as a technical exercise. And then, of course, go down. Okay? This is probably the most confusing exercise so far. And then, uh, after you're done with all this and you want something completely new, start hammering on and pulling off. For example, one, two, three, four, all hammered on. Okay, this is a strength building exercise and technique building exercise. And then pull it off. Okay? Then uh, try pulling it off going up. And hammer it on going down. Okay, granted, this is easier than pulling off. And then try to speed it up just because it's fun. Okay? And then start doing it with three fingers. And then, okay, up a fret or down a fret. And then, try tapping. 
And when I say tapping, I mean tapping all through, meaning you also hammer on out of nowhere in the first finger. So, okay, the fourth uh, note is a tap. Now, when you put the tap on the next string, when you go down, you put these two fingers with it and then lift the first finger. It's the same rule. This replaces the pinky. All three fingers together. Okay, but going up is, um, is a bit more difficult because you have to hammer on out of nowhere. And you can also do it with four fingers. Okay. And if you're tired of this, add slides like this. Slide one, two, three, slide one, two, three, slide one, two, three, slide or one, two, three, four, slide. And when you go back down, it's four, three, two, one, slide. Okay, like this. And if you play it fast, it sounds like this. Okay, sounds a bit messy, but still, this is just an exercise, a warm up exercise. And um, if you want to be really, really crazy, try a slide and then tapping. Like this. And this is really insane. Okay, tap, slide. Okay, tap, pull off, pull off, pull off, slide. Or hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, hammer on, and tap. You can slide the tap. Like this. Okay, like this. Or slide and then tap. Okay, and we'll stop here um, and talk about chord exercises which is basically just this. One, two, three, four, but on different strings. Okay, one, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one. And just take it up a fret. also on the next set of strings. Doesn't sound that good, but it's an exercise. Okay? And then, last exercise, arpeggiated. you good luck with this and have a lot of fun and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already what are you waiting for everything around here is for free and all I ask in return is for you to share this lesson share it with anyone you think um, will benefit from it and uh, also any other lesson you want to share feel free to do so and I will see you in the next lesson thank you very much for watching bye for now enjoy